dinosaur! We are rolling into Chicago for what? Chicago, baby, for the pizza! That's not why we're here. We're here for the Shamrock Shuffle. How fast can I run an 8K on zero training for four years? Zero training. Except for one 8K last year. Except for one 8K last year where I ran 30. 30. Anyway, we're repping, we're repping running fun this weekend. One what last about time. OGs? Throwing back. They're now defunct, but we're represented. Woo -woo. We are in Chicago. Ouch. Whoa, check out these floors. Dude, this place looks fancy. They've actually done a nice job with this place. That bed is totally big enough. Do we got like lake views? Are there river, river Dude, lake view? We've got river views. Damn, bro. <laughs> this is a sweet hotel, man. Actually, we this got is, we got a This got is a nice, nice. Dude, this is nice. This is here. nice, yeah. This one. That is my shirt for tomorrow. Maybe well, iron it. Or this. Prototype shorts. Running fun. Repping the running fun again. Oh, or maybe a singlet. Yeah, maybe I, singlet. I thought because then we could all match. You could just throw that over and top your t-shirt. That'd be cool. I'd be down. I'd be down. That, if you're cool and then that. I got these puppies here. The old, four, the original 4%. How cool is that? Actually, maybe I'll put the tights on instead I got my clocky here with my blue day cereal bar. Rule number one for race days, always wake up at least three hours before race start time. That's something I learned on Minnesota Distance Elite back in my day. They were always telling us to wake up at least three hours. It takes three hours for the body to fully wake up and be ready to race. Rule number two, always use the toilet at least five times on race day. Five times, that's the magic number. If you've only used it four times or three times or two times, you're asking for problems. Two time, two time. Okay, that, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't think Dan Kerr would approve of that. <laughs> Rule number three, do not just rely on the internet for your weather forecast. It's important that you get up in the window yourself and see what it's like outside. So it looks like the ground is dry and the trees aren't moving too much. So I don't think we'll see too much wind this morning. It looks like it's a little bit cold though. Rule number four, if you're nervous, try journaling. Journaling has been shown to help with nerves. So if you're nervous about something on the race or race day, just try journaling about it. Write it down a little bit, just kind of get it off your chest. It helps a lot with calming me down on race mornings. And finally, rule number four and a half, have a little bit of fun on race day. Yo, it's go time. Let's go. Sam. Yeah. Oh, we gotta go. Cool. Here we go, guys. We're warming up. Oh, we are. We're warming up. We're warming up. All right. I'm unfortunately dealing with a bit of a leg issue, so I can't really warm up much, but I'm just gonna jump in and do some strides and then jump into the race. So I ended up running almost the same time as last year, but like 20 seconds slower. And I think that's partly because I didn't have the super shoes that that Kotec had loaned me last year. So, um, but essentially it was a little bit windier, but not a huge difference. I had a ton of fun, much like last year. My leg hurts a little bit. I wish I could get back out and train again, but we'll just have to keep rehabbing and hope that at some point I'm able to run at, uh, at full speed again. How was your race? You know what? Uh, I think I was hoping for faster, but then I like kind of realized like, nah, this is about where my fitness is. So it's about a minute faster than I went through last week at the 8K mark of my 10K. So it's a minute faster. I felt really solid during the whole thing. We, we beat two teams again. We beat two teams. Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! We got 32 out of 34. 
something like that. Yeah, 32 out of 34. I'll, I'll take it, dude. We're camping yeah, out here it, to make sure we're the we're nice. the first people at Gino's East today. That's what Brandon did last year.